Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. And you have to go to don't know. Master A. You are not rocking with the best. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio. Let's go. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, it's great to see that now. you're just putting out this this work time and time again. You mentioned that you have a few more things on the go as well. Um, in addition to the Hand Me My Flowers, you also dropped a couple different instrumental projects this year. Is that something that you plan on continuing? Like those like archive beats similar to what we've seen in like 1990 now or what the new project kind of offers? Yeah, probably so. I think, I think if I do another instrumental, I'll do one with an artist and put an instrumental with it. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like we take the beats that was just sitting around, do songs to those, and then put an instrumental album with it. Because then it's like, okay, you have the best of both worlds. Because even looking at it, with fans, fans want to rap too. Even if you got a record that they love, they want to rap on that shit too. Yeah. And it's like, us from the 90s, we have to look and see how people and their mentality has grown. And, you know, I'm looking, it's like, and I want to work with all the people that, are, you know, if I look up to someone, I want to work with them. You know, and that's what that's all it is. You know, and 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 seeing these things is like this is how we become greater. You know, what I'm saying this is how we become stronger because our mentality changes. So our bounce has to change. It's like just because we made some records, just because I made some records, just because I made times up in '94, doesn't mean that the people who are out now is going to be like, oh, that beat is. I need to rhyme on that shit. Give me some shit like that. No, they're not going to say that. They're going to take their vibe now. And they they want you to come over to their vibe. I and that's all it is. I mentioned Nick Wiz earlier, but what he was doing with that whole uh, For Those That Slept series and the Cella Sounds and putting out albums, um, that whole series, and he had an album with like Ran Reed, I think a couple albums with Ran Reed, and it was all these vault material from basically Cella Dwellers. Um, do you ever foresee your, yourself kind of diving into that and kind of tapping a lot of those like unheard vault material gems from DITC and, and putting out those? Nah, we have records with older, you know, we unearthed a lot of shit and put out. He put some out, I put some out. I put out Burn Me So, I forgot what he put out. And I put out Love Child and he put something out. And I look, it's like I put out a couple of records that I like. I'm not going to go crazy with that because I believe even then we need to live in the future. And right now with hip hop, the future is now what people are doing. Gotcha. You know, that's cool. And it's like, but to me, it's like, this is where I'd rather be. And it's like, this is how I spent my whole career. So when I was working with guys like FT and the rest of these guys who was up and coming guys, you know, and remixing and doing songs for them, they became the people in the underground that people wanted to work with. So I would rather spend my time like that with creating the future than to living in the past. Fair enough. So what are you currently working on right now? Well, right now, by the time this drop, by the end of the month, I got a compilation coming out. You know, it's got some, it's got some cool songs. Then I'm working on, well, I've been just doing songs with with him, with Rashid, giving him beats just to see what he come with. I like him as a person. I think, like, he's dope, you know. Um, I have a project coming with Sonny Jim. Like, he's a cat from overseas. Um, I did a compilation with Tough Kong, you know, remixes. And this is coming along pretty dope. It's like, I'm just, I'm just working. I'm looking, I'm trying to unearth the new, and I'm trying to see what I can add on to this game of hip-hop that we have right now. Because it's, it's kind of stale. Like, when you look at it, and I, I understand, and I look, like, yo, artists have to work at a at a road runner pace. You can't get caught trying to do an album for three or four months. Three or four months. Once, you, once the other dude did the album, and in a month or two, that album is gone, and he's working on another one. So while you're doing an album in four months, he did two albums in four months and sold everything that he had, did merch, did some shows and did some other things, all while you working on this one album. Yeah. And so it's like when you look at your productivity, it has to be amazing. And I think, to me, I believe I was built for this because this is how I was working in the 90s. And when people would be like, wow, how you get so many remixes? Perfect place, perfect time. If I walk into a label, they yo, you want to remix this? And I look, I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, let me do that. Let me, I'll take the challenge. You know, oh, we have this guy and I will work. 
So I always had a, a high workload trying to create someone new or something new. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I will always take that. You know, when I met, you know, Skillin grew from some criminal. Even, like I say, with FC, that's how it came about. Yo, we got this kid, you know, we want to see if you work. All right, come on, yo, let's do it. 